Concise Guide to Large Language Models Basics to Implementation. Chapter 1. Why are large language models so important? Did you know that large language models, or LLMs, are transforming industries across the globe? These AI systems are making waves, fundamentally altering how we create, communicate, and comprehend information. But what exactly are these LLMs, and why are they so important? Large language models are a type of artificial intelligence that use deep learning neural networks to generate human-like text. They're designed to understand and predict language patterns, enabling them to perform tasks like answering questions, writing essays, translating languages, and so much more. The key to their operation lies in their ability to analyze vast quantities of data and learn from it, much like a human brain learns from experience. The evolution of LLMs has been nothing short of remarkable. From their origins in simple predictive text systems, they've grown into sophisticated models like GPT and Gemini, capable of understanding and generating complex pieces of information. These models have been the result of numerous breakthroughs in the field of AI, each adding more depth and complexity to the capabilities of LLMs. From virtual assistants and chatbots providing customer support, to content generation for marketing, and sentiment analysis for customer feedback. LLMs are hard at work, revolutionizing tasks that were once dependent on human intelligence. The benefits for businesses are tangible. Improved efficiency in customer support, personalized user experiences, and increased automation leading to cost savings are just a few of the advantages. But it's not just companies that benefit. We, as consumers and users, are also reaping the rewards of more intuitive, intelligent, and responsive technology. In the world of AI, LLMs are the new frontier. They're not just changing the way we interact with technology, but also how technology interacts with us. They're transforming the digital landscape, and we're just beginning to see the extent of their potential. ChatGPT which based of OpenAI's GPT LLM was the first one to show how the entire digital landscape is going to transform. ChatGPT has been fastest adopted app since the inception of the internet. It took just 5 days for ChatGPT to reach 1 million users and by the end of 2 months it had 100 million users. To give you the extent of dominance, the prior fastest adopted app was TikTok and it took 9 months to reach 100 million users. Before that Instagram had crossed 100 million users in two and a half years. In a nutshell, LLMs are revolutionizing the way we interact with technology. Chapter 2. History of Large Language Models. To appreciate the power of LLMs, it's important to understand their evolution. The journey of LLMs began with simple models that could only grasp tiny fragments of language, but as technology advanced, so did these models. One of the key architectures in this evolution is the Generative Pre-trained Transformer, commonly known as GPT. Developed by OpenAI, GPT models had a transformative impact on natural language processing. They were designed to predict the next word in a sentence, understanding the context of the entire text. This led to a leap in generating human-like text, opening up a world of possibilities from writing emails to creating poetry. This breakthrough allowed models to comprehend language with a level of nuance and sophistication never seen before, resulting in more accurate translations, question answering, and sentiment analysis. As the years rolled on, we saw the introduction of even more advanced models, each one building on the successes and lessons of the last. These models became larger and more complex, capable of understanding and generating text in ways that are eerily human-like. Innovative models like GPT, BERT, and others, have paved the way for today's advanced LLMs. But this is just the beginning. As technology continues to advance, we can only imagine what the future of LLMs holds. Chapter 3. Industry Use Cases of Large Language Models. Now, let's dive into some case studies to see how these large language models are utilized in industry. First up, we have the world of virtual assistants and chatbots. These models, like GPT or BERT, help the chatbots understand your query, process the information, and respond in a natural and human-like manner. For example, Google's Duplex technology uses a natural language processing model to make phone calls on behalf of users, mimicking human speech patterns to create an incredibly realistic conversation. Next, let's talk about content generation for marketing. 
As businesses continue to create content for their digital channels, the demand for high-quality, engaging content is on the rise. Large language models are stepping up to the plate, generating blog posts, social media updates, and even product descriptions. Microsoft Copilot which leverages OpenAI GPT-4, for instance, has been used by companies to draft emails, write code, and create presentations. The content produced by these models is not only efficient but also remarkably human-like, giving companies a competitive edge in their content marketing strategies. Then we have sentiment analysis for customer feedback. Large language models are used to analyze customer feedback, reviews, and social media posts to understand how customers feel about a product or service. This is a crucial aspect of business intelligence. For example, a company can use sentiment analysis to identify areas of their product that customers are not happy with and then make necessary improvements. These case studies are just a few examples of how large language models are being used in practice. From customer service to content creation, these models are transforming the way businesses operate and interact with their customers. Now, stay tuned for the next segment where we'll dive into the basics of implementing large language models starting with foundation models. Chapter 4. Introduction to Foundation Models One of the key components in the world of LLMs are foundation models. These models, as the name suggests, form the bedrock on which the entire structure of an LLM is built. They are pre-trained on vast amounts of text data, learning the intricate patterns and nuances of human language. This solid foundation allows them to generate human-like text, answer questions, translate languages, and so much more. Foundation models come in different shapes and sizes, each with their own unique characteristics and strengths. Some models are better suited for certain tasks than others. For instance, if you're looking to generate creative text or write an article, a generative model like GPT-4 might be your best choice. Foundation models are trained on massive amounts of text data, typically in the order of petabytes. This data can come from a variety of sources, including books, articles, websites, code repositories, and social media. The data is first pre-processed to remove noise and to ensure that it is in a format that the LLM can understand. This may involve tokenizing the text, removing punctuation, and converting words to lowercase. The pre-processed data is then used to train the LLM using a process called neural network training. Neural network training is an iterative process that involves feeding the LLM batches of data and adjusting the model's parameters until it is able to generate text that is similar to the training data. The parameters of an LLM are the weights and biases of the neural network. These parameters are what allow the LLM to learn the relationships between words and concepts. The number of parameters in an LLM can range from a few million to over few trillion. The more parameters an LLM has, the more complex it can be and the more data it will need to be trained on. However, more parameters also mean that the LLM will be more computationally expensive to train and run. To give you an idea, the estimated cost to train GPT-3 was $12 million. GPT-3 has 175 billion parameters. This cost was due to the massive amount of data required for training. GPT-3 was trained on approximately 450 terabytes of text and the hardware required to train the model was a cluster of 10,000 GPUs. Chapter 5. How to Implement Large Language Models Now that we have understood LLM model training and foundation models, let's look how we can implement LLMs. There are three ways to implement LLMs. Option 1. Use the API of a commercial LLM. Option 2. Use an existing LLM, fine-tune on proprietary data. Option 3. Train your own LLM from extensive internal data. Each of these options offers distinct benefits and is suited to different organizational needs and resources. While using a commercial API provides ease and cost-effectiveness, fine-tuning an existing model offers a balance of customization and efficiency and training your own LLM offers unmatched customization and control. The choice depends on the specific requirements, expertise, and resources available to your organization. Chapter 6. Use API of a Commercial LLM Commercially available LLMs, such as OpenAI's GPT series, 
Offer APIs that allow businesses and developers to integrate advanced language understanding and generation capabilities into their applications without the need for extensive AI expertise. This approach provides a straightforward way to access the LLM's capabilities without the complexity of training or maintaining the model. They are cost-effective as they eliminate the need for significant computational resources and expertise required for training models. Commercial providers also update their models with the latest advancements, ensuring users benefit from the most recent developments in AI. On the other hand, the disadvantages are lower control over the model and dependency of the commercial LLM provider. Some of the use cases which can take advantage of the commercial LLMs are chatbots for customer service, language translation services and content generation tools. Chapter 7. Use an existing LLM. Fine-tune on proprietary data. Fine-tuning an existing LLM on proprietary data involves taking a pre-trained model and further training it on a specific dataset to tailor its responses or capabilities to a particular domain or use case. Fine-tuning is typically used when the model needs to become specialized in a specific domain and the existing foundation model is not able to give the required performance in that area. One of the big advantage with fine-tuning is that businesses can ensure that their unique data is used effectively while maintaining privacy. Additionally fine-tuning is more efficient than training a model from scratch, leveraging the general capabilities of the pre-trained model. On the other hand, fine-tuning does require a higher level of machine learning expertise. Some of the sample applications where fine-tuning will be effective are legal document analysis for law firms, medical diagnosis assistance in healthcare and customized recommendation systems for e-commerce. Chapter 8. Train your own LLM from extensive internal data. Organizations with vast amounts of unique data might choose to train their own LLM. This approach involves collecting, cleaning, and processing data, and then training a model from scratch. Advantages with training your model are full control over the training process, model architecture, and data used. The model is precisely aligned with the specific needs and nuances of the business. Developing a proprietary model can provide a significant competitive advantage in terms of unique capabilities but that comes a cost. Some of the examples when you will train your model from scratch are development of a specialized search engine for academic research, creation a unique language model for a niche market or industry and AI tools for predictive analytics in finance or market trends. Chapter 9. Conclusion and Callout. Large language models are undoubtedly making their mark in the world of technology. They're more than just a passing trend. They're a significant shift in how we interact with machines and how businesses operate. But it's not just about the models themselves. It's about how they're applied. It's about how they're integrated into systems and services. It's about how they're used to solve real-world problems and create value. And that's where the real magic happens. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll dive into the practicalities of using these models, from implementation to optimization. We'll explore the different strategies and techniques that can be used to get the most out of these powerful tools. And remember, the journey doesn't stop here. The world of large language models is vast and ever-evolving. Discover the world of LLMs with us, one video at a time.